Hey everyone, welcome to Figure Fantasy. So now that you have your Rimuru, your freshly uh, upgraded Rimuru, so I have my Rimuru right now at 4. Diamond's not there yet, just uh, waiting for another copy for 5. But if you have him, you're kind of excited of on what, you know, what team does he need around him? What you should surround him. So this one I mentioned ahead of time. Um, I understand uh, some of you guys don't have Milim yet. So this team composition also has a alternative with Milim or without Milim. So um, the core, I'll talk to you about the core of these um, this uh, team composition. So obviously you have Rimuru as your core. Next would be Megan, definitely. Um, one, one advantage for Megan in this team composition will be um, because they're of the same brand. So you go with Megan, obviously. Then the third will have to be Zephyr. Although Zephyr is with Tenma, she is definitely going to be one of your key anchors for HP and also for energy. Okay, so those are the three main core units or figures. So let's go to team building and see how this looks like. Okay, so we're now here and um, this is going to be a Brawl Club match. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to just have a simple one match uh, sample of um, the team composition currently. Uh, I don't have more credits. I think I have two. So probably two um, to go as far as demo. So as you remember, my, my, my the, the core that I mentioned is Megan. You have your Rimuru. You have your Zephyr. The current team that I'm using in Bro Club would be Milim in the middle and also Hatsune Miku at the back. So this is going to be my core. Um, in terms of damage, um, they do quick work, but sometimes they go um, a bit uh, short. Um, especially if they have Sakura, if you have Sakura um, on the other team. So let's try this lineup out and see how this goes versus a traditional summon team for Let's Red. Okay, so um, the only matchup problem I think here would be um, you'll have less damage with uh, Miku versus the Miku with a within a summon team, but definitely you, you're gonna have a a nice damage up front, um, especially with uh, Rimuru and Milim um, doing a lot of AOE damage. The problem is sometimes you'll be hitting a lot of summons with your AOE. So definitely um, you have to make sure that you hit Sakura er as early as uh, possible. And, um, you know, um, the only thing that's going to be left here is going to be Megan. So. We have Melin, uh, Melim out already. We still have uh, Rimuru, surprisingly, still alive. And uh, we're going to be clearing this one and finishing this off. I'm going to be talking to you guys a lot more about options here, just in case you don't have this um, lineup, of course. So Megan is a beast. As you can see there, the opposing Megan can't be killed. So there you go. So this is currently, I think so far, my best uh, team for Rimuru. The other options that you have here for Milim, obviously, is going to be Zarola. No, not Zarola. Um, the other option, if you don't have Miko, you can swap Miko out with Zarola. This one, I think, would be better. Um, again, there's heals here. There is survivability. So you can also opt for this option. I'm gonna have a demo first on this one and see how this goes. So if you don't have if you don't have Milim, definitely you can go with uh, with either Sakura as a replacement or you have Zhong Liang here as a replacement. This is more of I think more of a defensive lineup. Um, no debuffs here. No debuffs, but definitely it gives your Rimuru more survivability and um, a lot of power also in one lane with with Zarola. So Zuliang here will be your insurance, obviously, in surviving. So as you can see, um, 
HP is pretty much very uh, ideal and level out. So the opponent actually has um, has uh, more or less a summon team, a mixed summon team. Um, Zuki Liang, by the way, is ideal if your enemy also has Zuki Liang. So definitely go with Zuki Liang um, instead of Sakura. Because um, in terms of uh, trading damage, uh, you're going to live more with uh, Zuki Liang here. Okay, guys. So as you saw before, this is my default team. I'm going to show you um, uh, what you call this, a match up here with uh, these guys. So if you want to run this lineup with this one, I would actually uh, suggest you run Zuki Liang here for more survivability. So again... Um, Megan here can be replaced with Crusos if you wish. Um, in the middle, you could have Zakura, you could have Zarola to replace um, Milim here. Uh, if you don't have Milim, by the way, and those are your your mix and matches. Just stick to the core mix and match on on the on the matchups that you are having right now, and I think you'll be good. So let's try this out and see how this uh, matchup does. Okay, this matchup is a bit difficult because the tanks here are targeting the, your backline. So survivability here would be key, actually. If uh, you can only survive that barrage, then you'll be good. So... Milim here is going to be key in destroying your the, the front line here. So as you can see there, a lot of destruction. I by the way, I have Milim's um uh what do you call this? Uh exclusive uh exclusive badge. So there's an opportunity for me to have her ultimate three times. So as you can see there, it's going to be a lot of damage. Um Zuki Liang there was just the insurance that all of them could deal that much damage okay so let's try this lineup out um same lineup uh where, except for miko i swapped her out for zuki liang so uh let's see how this lineup is effective in this scenario um the problem with uh, this is going to be uh, what do you call this zarola another option for this lineup again would be uh, sakura if she could silence uh, zarola it would be interesting actually and probably get a a advantage here versus um zarola here so the good thing about setting up rimuru here is he's going to make a hole at the back while you guys are going to battle zarola so again as you can see there uh milim did a three ultimate uh, release one and two at the back so there you go guys um your options here so you have sakura now here um i'm not removing milim here um right now because she's a pretty much good option zarola again is your option or if you don't have milim she zarola would be a good uh sub in for milim here so it's gonna put milim in the middle so that you could maximize your damage then let's try this out okay so so far had um gave you guys um some options again crusos could be an option for megan if you don't have her if you have built crusos more or better than megan then be my guess you can swap her out there then hopefully again um sakura helps us with her you know silence ultimate again again for 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 both milim and um and rimuru they're gonna be they're gonna be at their best when they're facing mobs so they're not gonna be good in bosses but if you're gonna be facing mobs in stages that need you to do AOE damage, they're going to be the best at it. Let's finish this out. Although Milim is already dead, Rimuru is still here with two healers on his back. So, so far, 
This is going to be a tough boss to contend with. Silence, ultimate. As long as Rimuru has healers, he can be a very good frontline tank. Okay, again, there are a lot of possibilities with, R with Rimuru. Those are more or less the most optimal lineups for him uh, in terms of the current content that we have, uh, especially if there are mobs, then those are your go-to lineups. Just swap them out whatever you have or whatever the matchup calls for then you'll be fine so anyway guys thank you very much for staying this far so hopefully you have gotten something out of this team comp guide um if you're still here again please do consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out here